du, 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 du. Hey you, my name is Elon, welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now if you remember I made a video about monetizing your channel and why I didn't want to monetize my channel at the time and now everything that I predicted came true. Now in the last year and something of YouTubing, I made two videos which spiked in views. They were so-called viral videos. Now this was the lens ball video in the early summer of 2018 and the PewDiePie vs T-Series which was in the end of October of last year. So now back to this year, in early summer of this year, we were at 5,000 watch hours in the last year. But as we went across that spike of 2018's lens ball video obviously the views from 5k went down to 4.4k which is what we're at right now and following that pattern my logic is that on the 26th of october which is when i posted my pewdiepie versus t series video last year my views will probably drop below 4k because you get it. Now honestly the factual statistics of these things is the minor issue and you know me I try to get into the message of how YouTube works. And the bottom message is viral videos are not cool. And I'm really not the first one to say it. I've seen this thrown around recently quite a bit. Many people strive to make a viral video and if they succeed, it makes a minor spike in your views and really just goes back down to normal which doesn't really do much for your channel. And in fact, it can actually hinder it in some way. My God, who knows the word hinder? So the worst thing it can do is because of that spike in views, y'all all of a sudden have all these viewers who are interested in the specific topic of the video. They might subscribe to your channel, but not be interested in the content you create overall, which means now you have a bunch of inactive subscribers who are not watching your videos, which in turn means that YouTube is thinking that, they, that your content is not engaging enough, which is why your subscribers are not watching it. And so it kind of starts cutting down on your reach. That is pretty scary. And for those people who are easily demotivated, the plateau that comes after the spike in a viral video can be pretty depressing. In fact, my regular views and watch time is still going down over a year after those viral videos. Because videos from my competition on the same topics are still being created and garnering views while they're fresh, whereas the general search volume, for example, for the lens ball video is going down, so those videos aren't performing as well and they were the main view attractors for all this year or something time. So just about now, I'm hitting the bottom for my regular views and watch time and so the other videos which I'm regularly creating are finally starting to pull their weight. Again, the bottom line message here is that while viral videos are fun and exciting to make once in a while, and it's probably a good thing, even if you make them regularly, great. But our primary focus should be on making consistent quality content. Videos which will generally pull their share of the load and not just rely on the popular ones. I hope that was insightful for some of you small YouTubers out there looking to grow and just figuring out this whole YouTube thing. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next week. Amazing this didn't fall on my face. Again.